Hi guys! So for my speedy dinners this week, I'm going to show you an Italian flavored dish, which is a Italian spiced chicken with the pesto rice. And I've got here, let me show you, I've got chicken breast, but I've just uh, cut into big pieces. And then I'm just salting it on this side. I'm adding um, oregano to it, dried oregano all over. And then I'm just gonna do um, the same with brown pepper. There you go. Never hesitate to uh, be generous with your spices and chicken because this is what will add the flavor. And so ideally, this should rest for a couple of minutes while it soaks in uh, the salt and the pepper and everything. Uh, but since it's a speedy dinner, I'm just gonna cook it as we go and it will be really tasty. So I'm gonna take my chicken. And then when the chicken cooks, I'm gonna show you how to do the rice. So I'm gonna flavor the other side. And the key to a crispy uh, chicken is to let it cook like that without touching it for two, three minutes. And then same thing with the oregano. And my heat is on uh, medium, medium high. And so, when that is cooking, I got on the back stove, I got some olive oil with garlic. I'm gonna add chili flakes and then my tomatoes. Okay, I've got my garlic, chili flakes, olive oil starting there. And I have here roughly just um, a cup of cherry tomatoes, just chopped cut in two. Um, and then I'm gonna leave that alone for a minute or two and show you the rest. So here I have a frozen cauliflower rice and I'm just making sure it's separated. And I have a frozen rice. I like to do a mix. I like to do a mix because um, my kids like rice, but I love adding the cauliflower just for extra veggies. And I'm gonna add some spinach as well, just so they have some grease. I'm always the more the better. And then to add flavor to all that, I have here pesto sauce that I've been making this week for my cooking classes. Store-bought works really nice if you don't wanna make it. But pesto, like for instance this one, it's one cup of basil, three cups of spinach, uh, like a third of a cup of walnuts. Um, one lemon zest and then juice, and a third of a cup of olive oil. You put it in the blender or food processor and you blend it so it's like that. So, really, really easy to make. The beauty of making your own pesto is you can switch the nuts, you can switch the greens, you can make it with kale, uh, you can make it with arugula, you can make it with like pistachio, pine nuts, almonds, I mean, whatever you feel like. So, it's really up to you and you can play with the flavors. So, that's nice. Again, don't want to make it, just buy it. I mean, you find really good quality pesto sauce um, almost everywhere. So I'm gonna go check out my chicken and I'll be right back. The key with the sauce is to um, not burn the garlic, otherwise it's not good. So it's starting to brown, so I'm gonna add the frozen cauliflower, rice, and the spinach. And you know, I've mentioned before, I always have uh, frozen rice in my, in my fridge. It's just so easy and convenient, and you don't have to uh, you don't have to buy it if you don't want to do it. But next time you make fries, make extra and just froze the rest, so you have it for a day like this. Let me give a good stir to the rice and check on the chicken. Okay, my chicken is really crispy and nice uh, on the first side, so I just flipped it, and I'm cooking it on the other side. I'm just lowering down the temperature a little bit and I'm covering it. So it will cook inside, but not dry out. When you cook it cover, it kind of steams a little bit. So it will stay, it will be moist, cooked and flavorful. But if you just keep it on too high, it might dry out your chicken. And that's not good. Boom. So my rice is cooking nicely. My spinach is almost wilted. So I'm gonna add like a generous 
tablespoon of the pesto here. And if I see that it's too thick and it's not combining well enough, I'll add a little bit of water or stock. Uh, so it just will coat everything nicely and it will be a nice smooth pesto. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. It smells amazing. I think the kids are going to love that. So the rice is ready. I don't want it to be uh, mushy. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to check on my chicken. And the reason why I like to, uh, to cut my chicken in smaller pieces is just because it will cook faster. When I want like juicy, uh, big pieces of chicken, I will roast it or cook it uh, like in the slow cooker um, with maybe some kind of sauce or something. But when I don't have time, which is the whole purpose of this segment, I need efficient. And so efficient means cooking faster and cooking faster means smaller pieces. That's why I had to uh, cut my uh, like chicken breast. So you can buy chicken tenders if you want, if you don't want to have to deal with cutting it and slicing it. Uh, but they didn't have any good one at the stores. So I went for the big one. This other key with chicken and making sure it's well cooked. Obviously you have to check the inside temperature, it needs to be at 165. And then second, you have to let it rest before you eat it. So I'm gonna go check on my chicken, plate it all, and then show you how it turned out. So just stay there. Okay, so my chicken has had time to rest, so I'm just gonna plate it now. And uh, I'm just putting the rice at the bottom, like I'm making a nice bed of the rice. Hop, hop, hop. That pesto smells amazing. There we go. And then I'm just gonna paste my chicken on top of the rice. Just like that. There's a little bit of juice, but it's always good to keep the juice, just spooning it on the chicken. There we go. And you could add toasted pine nuts on top if you wanted to, I've done it in the past. So if you've watched uh, my videos before of taking my classes, you know that uh, I love fresh herbs. I grow most of them. Uh, basil right now is in my kitchen in this little pot. I think I buy a new plant like once a month because I go through so much of it. And just wet your fingers. And then you just, there you go, sprinkle it on top. And there you go, you have super easy, speedy Italian pesto rice with spinach and cauliflower rice and uh, grilled chicken with uh, Italian spices. Less than 10 minutes from start to finish, and it smells amazing. So, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.